The cleanup of the towns and the countryside around Fukushima has created millions and millions of tons of waste that has to be sorted and disposed of. And this is just some of it. This is very strange to be standing inside here because this huge structure I'm standing inside is right on top of reactor building number three. And down underneath me here is the melted reactor core inside this building. Over the top here they have built a shield to lower the radiation levels so that we can come up here, so that workers can come up here to construct this. But radiation levels are still very high here. and Because of that we can only spend a few minutes here. Now if you come over here, there's my alarm going off. This is the spent fuel pool. Down inside here are more than 560 spent fuel assemblies. So this is the lining? Yes. This is so you've got one, two, five three, feet. four, five. Basically, yes. Five, five layers. layers. Yes. So the really big difference between, for example, what happened in Ukraine with the Chernobyl disaster and what's happened here in Japan at Fukushima is that the Japanese government has decided that this area has to be cleaned and has to be restored. And it is a vast, vast operation that will take many decades to complete. But all of the material that is being cleaned up, all of the topsoil that's being removed, it has to be taken somewhere and it is being brought here and it is going to be buried. And the quantities are just mind-boggling. 14 million tons of waste material has been created so far. That all has to be buried underground. 